So hi, Eve. Uh, Beautiful. Hi, yeah. Oh, thank you for joining me, Eve. Yeah. So Shane, we are all cool. set with this stage and with these fancy bands, and we hand over the control to you. We are excited about the game, which is on planning. Cool. All details from Shane. Thank you. Oh, all righty. Welcome, folks. Thank you, Deepti. Thank you so much. Uh, for inviting me along and uh, yeah it's I hope that we're going to have fun the first thing I have shared a google drive folder um, in there I've got all of the all of the content for the session and 10 copies of it but let me start and tell you a little bit of our story so so this is a, an iteration planning simulation game or, or release planning simulation game. And there, there, you can make it quite complicated or you can run a, a, a relatively simple version. So I'm going to use the relatively simple version to give credit where credit is due. It was uh, first written up by James King um, of uh, his website is King's Insight and then Philippe Christian um, from British Columbia University took it and he did more work on it May, and there are a variety of different um, versions of this that, uh, that can be found online I'm going to share the links so the idea is to work with a team who maybe are getting used to doing iteration planning and release planning, a uh, little bit about story points, but we're, we're not doing, you could, again, add uh, complexity where they, where they have to estimate the story points. The version we're going to use, the story points are um, pre-estimated. They looking at dependencies, uh, looking at that velocity, the impact of defects and technical debt, what happens. And this is all achieved through a, a, a simulation of being stranded on Mars. So you are the crew of the first mission to Mars. Um, and, well, there's uh, a... a, a you, you landed and things broke. So the, the, the lander um, they, has broken on landing and you've got a couple of choices. You can either repair the spacecraft or do what you were there to do, fix up the base and wait for rescue. The, um, you've got all of the stuff that has survived so you can build this base and we're going to use the uh fix the base and wait for rescue but there there are variations on the game where you could put have different teams doing different approaches and that also helps them to understand you know these are the choices that you make from a backlog of possible items with different goals in mind um but we'll do the the the, the fix the base and wait for rescue and we want to um, be comfortable and safe and and healthy to survive the the eight iterations um, we'll say for um, for the, the sake of um, pure uh, speculation that an iteration or a sprint is, is going to be the typical standard scrum sprint of two weeks 10 working days because we, even though we're on mars we will take a a two a two day break every every 10 or every five we sustainable pace matters and we've got a, a list a backlog of things that happen that, that need to happen and our backlog is crafted um with just a number a name so we haven't used the full as a i want structure it's just a, a simple this is something that we need and the story reference number and then the the estimated efforts and again um depending on where the team is that you're working with you could 
get them to do that estimation and have some some conversations about coming up with the story points or just say okay we the the um ground control team back in houston they figured out the story points for you and this is this has been given to you and that's what we're doing in in this instance we're saying that the uh the ground control did that for us um then there are, of course, randomness comes into it, and you get, uh, we start with a, a starting velocity, and then we use the yesterday's weather concept, but to get to what is our actual velocity of any sprint, we roll the dice, and the, 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 you roll it twice, once for two die, once for your velocity change and the the number that you add or subtract comes down to what have you thrown so if you throw two you sub, you get a negative three velocity points you get a 12 you add six velocity points and then the second time you throw the dice you get it tells you how many defects you get because uh, particularly working in the atmosphere of Mars, on the, the, everyone's a little bit traumatic, there's likely going to be some mistakes made as we are working away at fixing things. So, so that, that's where, this is how we bring a little, an element of randomness in there. Then the, the iteration backlog, it's just an, and I've, so I've created a um, some jam boards, which have got these are all of our backlog stories, and we can in the in the jam board in your group you'll be able to move the move things around um, to do the planning. Coming back, and you you select. Now, one of the questions is you've got to figure out how far in advance do we want to select what stories are we going to work on on each iteration. There are some important milestones that we have to, to tackle. Um, some things that if we don't get them done in time, we die. Now, like if you run out of air before if you haven't built a an air generator before the air that you have runs out you die if you don't, haven't uh, built the food um, uh, food processing unit in time before the food that you have uh, runs out you die if you um, haven't uh, sourced water with the with the water generator within the the time again you die so that, you know you're on the surface of mars and there's a good chance that something could go wrong enough that you could die so um imperatives from a um prioritization perspective there's also some dependencies between, between there and so forth and the uh, then the, the calculation so how how the um you start out, and this is the, uh, the snapshot image of, of the iteration one plan. Um, so uh, I made a choice. So you have to have enough velocity points to build story points and repair defects. If you don't, you die. Um, if you get to the end of iteration one and you haven't got a construction center, you die. So there are, there are a number of ways you could die. We, we want to try and avoid dying. It's generally a good thing. Um, then you choose how many points you are going to build from your backlog item. So in this case, we said 13. Then we roll the dice. That's going to tell you what happens with your velocity. And I'll, I'll actually do this. Then you roll the dice again. It tells you what happens with your defects. And that re reduces. I've uh, put a link to a random dice roller um, and I'll, I'll show the the spreadsheet that I've done for that in a minute so yeah our goal is to rebuild the base or make it comfy you know we've got to be here for six months while we're waiting but if we get all of this done we could even be able to do some resource uh, research and you can you can build in a um, competitive element to it if you've got multiple teams working together 
Um, and then there are some questions for the debrief that you can use. You know, how many points got delivered? What happens with defects? What happens re with residual defects? Uh, what happens to your um, story for average velocity and so forth? What what happens in terms of wasted velocity if we um, maybe took a conservative view and said, hey, well, you know, we've got some defects. We we won't try and do a lot of story points this sprint, but then we get the roll the 12 and we've got a whole lot of wasted effort. We could have done more. What's that feeling of loss that happens with, the, with that as well? All right. <laughs> okay, so let me uh, show you. So there's our backlog of items. And here we have the, the actual spreadsheet. So I'm gonna do, if that if it's okay by everyone, I'm gonna do one round where I will uh, just show you how this is gonna work. Then I'm gonna put you into breakout rooms. We'll split into, take that and um, each team will have uh, I've got, I've made 10 sets, so each team will have a set of their backlog and their, and the spreadsheet, and it's, it's just a, a Google sheet spreadsheet. So for the first sprint, the, the first thing we have to have, and I've put the, these key points in there, uh, we need a construction center. If we haven't got a construction center at the end of this, of sprint one, we die. So when it comes to planning my backlog, which stories, and uh, we, we're starting with a, an estimated velocity of 15. Um, we don't have to stick to 13 for the plan. I just put that in. So if you have a look at this list of story point, a uh, list of stories. So the, the way I've done this, the number is the, just a reference number and then the number of story points. Which stories should we put into our very first sprint? We have story number 13. Construction center, eight story points. Mm -hmm. Basic basic accommodation, the top right. Right. So that's 10 story points. No one's voting on the karaoke machine. <laughs> Nobody wants the karaoke machine <laughs> on the person. <laughs> Air generator. <laughs> Air generator. Which air generator? That, so that, that one there? Yeah. Uh, okay, so that's 15 points. So we have a maximum. Of, we have available to us 15 story points, we think. So should we put these three in? Yeah. Okay, so eight and two is 10 and five is 13, uh, 15. So we'll go 15, all right. So we're gonna, we are planning to use all of our velocity against the work that we're trying to do. Um, I'm now gonna randomly roll, roll the dice. We got a three. Dice roll of three. Ooh, we've lost two velocity points. So um, we should have said eight. No, eight uh, construction. And our next one was basic accommodation.
Now, you, we could have done all sorts of fancy things and made this much more automated. And if you want to take time, you could build something in Miro with drags and drops and automation and so forth. But I, I, I found it works okay like this. Feels a tiny bit clunky. And for the for the in-person version of the game, James actually built a <clears throat> a board that you can draw uh, that you can that you can print out. This prints on an A3 sheet of paper, and then the the stories themselves you cut out and put and put down, and that also works quite fine. All right, so we've only got thirteen points available there. So we used eight for that one. Now, how did when we did our planning, and this is the question we one of the questions we can then explore with the group is okay, we, we plan to do those. Did we do them in did we do them in that order? Or did we want to do them in that order? Because what's the impact? We thought we had 15 points, we got 13. If we took them in, in the order that we called them out, then we got five and we only got, we only had three available there. So, Now we have at this stage zero defects, so we've got 13 points, no velocity, uh, velo ah, actual velocity, there's defect drain, there we are, so we use 13 points to build new features, so we've been good. Let's see what happens when we roll the dice again. We got a seven on the second roll of the dice, which is the... Uh, Shane, we are not able to see your screen. I'm not sure if it's intentional or... Uh, uh... Oh! Sorry, folks. Yeah, we are back in business. Thanks. Okay, when, when did that drop? Sorry, I must have hit the button in by mistake. So I think so, from the last two minutes, we are not able to see your screen, Shen. Ah, sorry about that. I got, okay. I got bogged down. So what I done, we ran that, we rolled the dice. We got a three, which took two velocity points off. So that gave us 13 velocity points available. Um, and then you put in, I put in the velocity used to fix defects. And I worked from the top down of that of that uh, categorization. So we said we would do story point uh, story number thirteen, one, and two. Actually, we had them that way around. Thirteen two, thirteen two one. That's our backlog for the sprint. So we got the we ended up with thirteen points available, and. That means that we only got part of the air generator done. Now, we should carry the air generator over to the next sprint. So I'll just copy that across there. But we also know that when we partially complete a piece of work, we don't get all of that velocity back. So it, it, we, we, it's not like we can just say, okay, we only have two story points left on this one. Because, <clears throat> and, and typically in, in sprints, this is what happens. If we don't finish the piece of work in time, <clears throat> we have to, there, there is a, a refactoring cost and a, and a ramp up cost. So we have to take the remaining velocity and we add two to it. So 
Um, it's not going to be three points. It's actually going to be another full five points if we want to carry the air generator story forward. And we ended up with throwing, throwing a, a seven for the defects. So we're carrying, two, carrying forward two defect points, which means that our starting iteration, we, we carry forward the, yesterday's weather as the sprint iteration, and we have two negative two velocity points of the of defects waiting to be fixed. Does that make sense? How I'm yeah. how this is calculated out? All right. <clears throat> so um, can can everyone access that Google Drive? I can. Is there, yeah. is there anyone who cannot? Okay. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to split you into, uh, we'll do three groups. And there are 10 sets here. So if you end up in group one, please use the backlog Jamboard for number one and the spreadsheet scoreboard, scoreboard for number one. And if you're in group two, number two, and if you're in group three, number three. And I'm going to recreate. Does that all make sense? Everyone ready to go into the breakout rooms? And we'll spend, you know, do one or two sprints. I will move between the uh, the groups and I will copy in the, the figures from that. Actually, no, you've seen me do it with sprint one. You saw what could happen. So um, start with sprint one. And we do would like to stay alive at the end of the first sprint, at least, and see how long you can stay alive. Um, move those, move the story cards around. You could change the color when it's built, something like that. Uh, everyone good with that? Cool. And we'll spend 20 minutes in the breakout rooms, then we'll come back and, and debrief, and I will move between. It's loading up right now at my end. Uh, so team two, yep. I'll open it up. And if you're able to see here. Um, yes. Right? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Mm, give me one cool. second. My Mac is giving me a trouble. OK. All right. So I can see this. This is number two, and that is another two, right? Uh, the second one, right? Yeah. Yep. Okay. All right. So if we keep in mind, right, uh, story point 15 right now at the moment. And uh, if we go back to the sheet here, uh, give me one second. To the jam board. Okay. There's also okay. the, yeah. those stories are also listed on the second page of that sheet if you want. Uh, you okay. are saying, Backlog. yeah, yeah. Okay. Cool. yeah, okay, makes sense. But the oh, one I felt I found the jam board was good for moving things around and, and right. doing the visual okay. plan, exactly. So, I'm going on back on jam board here right now. So, mm. if cool to take it up. Uh, right it looks like you're all under control there, so I'll leave you to it. Yeah, yeah. So just to keep live in uh, sprint one, we have to be controlled under 30, right, as of now. Yeah. So kindly suggest which one we can pick it up, right? It's the construction center. Yes. It's number 13 in the list. Uh, number 30. Yeah. Oh. No, the next one. 13, next one. Yeah, construction yeah. center. Yeah. Okay. 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 And then uh, we have the. What, what's what's coming up in the next the next uh, sprint that we need to keep ourselves alive? 
Yeah. Uh, guys, just wanted to have, uh, why don't we place a temporary power generator? Because it's only a three story points, right? Um, uh, that makes sense. Yeah, but then the first the construction center should be ready before going to the power. So I but, see where it's going because you want to set up your sprint that it flows into your next sprint. Yes. So uh, maybe just go back to the spreadsheet and we can see what the second release would be. So it oh. says it needs power source. So mm -hmm. does it make sense to do the temporary one or does it make sense to do the permanent one? What's the difference? Uh, so if so we the temporary power that only lasts for three. Yeah. Because if I'll pick it up, yeah, if I'll pick it up this one, which is uh, which has a uh, five story points, then I uh, I don't have a choice to pick it up this basic accommodation unit, right? Mm. Okay. Yeah. 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 If I will be not picking up this thing, then I can go with that. Eight plus two, ten plus three, thirteen, right? Yeah. Make sense? Okay, Do we need the accommodation? Mm, okay, if I'll keep it this aside right now, what else we need? Yeah. Right, let's assume, uh, just have a thought if we can uh, do something else. So, so the interesting other option we have is if we do the temporary power generator now, we're going to have to do it again in three sprints. If yes. we do the permanent power generator in the next sprint, we don't have to worry about the investment over yes. time, but that's assuming we're still alive at that point. That means so, if you're saying like this, if I'll take it up this No, thing, no, no. The card is six. Just below that, there is one card power uh, generator permanent, eight story yeah. points. So that could be like our second, if we plan our yeah, second, second uh, iteration, we can take it up that yeah, one. So yeah. we don't have yeah. to worry about the temporary one. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so you are saying for sprint one, we are okay to have uh, construction, this one, and uh, this is permanent, right? I think so. Is it right? Yeah. Because then we are 13 here, right? Mm. For sprint one. Yeah. Right. So don't we, yeah, was, go ahead. I was going to say, don't we have to uh, re-roll the dice? Because I think he rolled four. Yeah, four. yeah. we have to do it. Yeah. Random.org, we have to go. Yeah that website so we still have 15 we need to figure out what's what yeah we have to roll the dice twice what was that random.org.org random .org. Yeah. yeah give me one second uh, game and this dice roller right okay. yeah right yeah exactly let me roll it out give me one second so we have yeah, I did it. We have seven. So we have to go to that sheet and see what does seven means. Mm -hmm. uh, he was showing right in one sheet, like seven stands for something. Yeah. I think and it was in his PPT. The first dice row, because there's two dice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But this is the first, uh, yeah. So put, put the seven in the green um, column. It's 13 C. Over here, no, Where no, no. I... Um, uh, uh, third cell block 13 C, C13. C13, okay. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's where we enter it. Yeah, with a green, green number is. Can I enter this five seven here? Yeah, into the seven. Okay, does what does that do? It automatically, no, it doesn't. Yeah, if you roll a seven, there's no change to your velocity points. Yay, ah. that's seven. Yeah. Right, we did it. Where do we see that actually? Uh, like, I saw that somebody you, presented it. If you scroll down on the um, spreadsheet down to about row 44, it shows okay. you the. A little bit 44, further down. 44, yeah. Okay. Got it. And okay, no change. No change in velocity. Okay. Right. So okay. we had a lucky one, right? <laughs> yeah, we have to roll one more time. Okay. Roll one more time, okay? Let me try my luck again, right? Okay, I got yeah, 12. Yeah, it's 12. 
L3 velocity point. Hello. Ah, but now 12 on defects. Yeah. Oh. oh. Five so defects, right? Defects. Oh, no, it's four. It's four. No, this one, right? Add two no, it's, it's points the... and five new defects, right? Yeah. So yeah. if you go back, if you go back up. Okay. To row twenty-three and put the twelve in there in that red. Right, I did it. Yeah. Right. Okay. So like now, that. now the figure that you have to enter mm -hmm. is how much velocity did you actually use to build new features? So that is on row eighteen. That's the number you have to enter from your list down below. Okay. So we, so we have to list it down. Can I but put it up done here? No. I I didn't understand in this part. Sorry, I missed that. What is was that? So you, you go uh, on where? What is? How many story points are you building? Did you plan to build? Okay, we thought of to go with uh, this thing. Eight right. and five, right? Eight and five. Yeah. Okay, so down in row... Um, I'll just copy that because that is construction center 13 points. So you want me to write it over? Okay, you are doing it. Okay, thanks. Mm-hmm. And the other okay. one was is air generator permanent. Air Five generator. Points. Aha. Uh, which is yeah. Initially, yeah. Initially, we thought of to have a temporary or uh, something, yeah. right? Which have a, mm -hmm. right? But then we decided to take it permanently because that can be utilized in other sprints as well. That's it, and it means that for that thing that you need for iteration three, if you scroll back up to the start, the top, you have met that. Exactly. So that will keep you alive. Okay, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> so now we, in that row 18, huh? you can put 13. Uh, Velocity used to build new features. Row 18 in that green box there. No, next. I did it. Okay. Yep. All right. It says uh, <laughs> velocity wasted is two, right? Yeah. And we've got, ended up with five mm -hmm. defects. Defects. So our so now we can move on to sprint two. So you've got fifteen story points available because we get the. Um, but have to go. There, sure. There's some things to consider here. Okay. We we had no change in velocity, so that fifteen carries forward. Sure. Yeah. But you've got a defect drain. You've got five defects, yes. five points in defects, which slow you down. So your effective velocity. Right. And now you have to choose it's how much of your velocity are you going to use to fix those defects? Mm -hmm. And what else are you going to add to your backlog? But okay. what the, the good thing you have is you've got air. Yeah. So you've 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 bought something forward for the next sprint. Exactly. We already covered it up for sprint three, right? Uh, we yeah. have to now look into uh, at least for need power source right here for mm -hmm. sprint two, right? right? Okay, I'm going back on the spreadsheet right now. Uh, yeah. We look forward to for cool. here, right? I think we can work on the story uh, six, the next card. Yeah, this one, eight story points. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then we can work on the defects. So we will have the power as well as... Looks to me like you've got it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because then we don't have any. If we pick it up another story, we we don't. No, have we may any, not be able to uh, yeah. reduce the defects. So we'll take uh, the defects and this one. Exactly. So. So can we just go back to our fourth iteration just to see what that what's looks like? Up. Mm. Yeah. 
because we still need to stay alive. <laughs> yep. So we've got air for the next one. Okay, I put it up over here. Story points is uh, how much for eight, that? Eight, eight story eight. points. Okay, perfect. Uh, mm -hmm. Then we have story point 15 here, right? Yeah. And, and then, then we have uh, how much seven here? for defects, seven story points for defects. Yeah. Wasn't it five? No, we've got uh -huh. five defects, but our velocity is 15. So the remainder of the story points is seven for the defects. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, seven is for defects. Uh, yeah, you can yeah. remove the seven from there and then you can just add defects and then. Very generous product owner. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, how would we know that how much effort it will take for fixing? We don't know. We guess it. <laughs> yes. uh, do yeah. we have any information here? Uh, zero defects, no impact. Two to three, one velocity point, and it's we have five, point. right? Two velocity points. Yeah, we, uh, can, we have still have a margin, right? If I'll take it up two for fixing the defects, right? Mm -hmm. Which will be as per four to five, two velocity. Mm -hmm. It will be still we have five to pick it up something else, right? To be shipped. Now we need to accommodation. Yeah, you need to oh. roll the dice also. Oh, yeah. okay. give me one yeah, second. Twice. Okay. But we need to pick first before we roll the dice, remember? Yeah. Because we don't, we don't want to. Like, so let's take, <laughs> let's take accommodation. Wait, wait, wait. So let's let's look at the the, the sprint number four that's coming up because we know oh. we have air, but let's look at what is needed for sprint four just in case. Mm -hmm. It says water. It's water. It's water. 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 Right. Okay. No, no, it's water. Iteration four is water. Oh, water. So ah, yeah, correct. Water. Oh, yes. you guys are all gonna die on Mars unless I help you here. <laughs> Okay, so let me uh, <laughs> can we take this one water for four sprint? It's minus two, this uh, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, or else the next one, I don't know if we can do it. Water production plan, five story mm. points. We can, we can do that, right? Because, yeah, uh, we, we have five yeah. points actually. Oh, yeah, yes. we have five points, right? Yeah, so if I'm putting up here, um. Okay, let me copy paste it. Give me one second, please. But uh, just in case it gets spillover, uh, <laughs> I don't think. <laughs> we will have. Okay. Now we five three points. Eight and five is thirty, and two yeah. is for bulk fixing. Okay, bang. Yeah. We are bang on target, and now we are alive for at you least know. for uh, sprint three and four as well, right? Mm. All right. Let's see these dice. Uh, let yeah. me roll the dice. Roll it out. Roll the dice. Okay. Oh, we have four. Three, it says four. Subtract yeah. one velocity point, and you have two new defects. Uh, no, we have to roll twice for the for the. the two, uh, yeah, two new defects. You can just enter the doll uh, up above above the first. Yeah, yeah. Mm. The, the green you can enter four. No, it's only two. No, no, no. You have to enter the roll number, and that will get. Uh, you will get it there directly. And then on a defect, it's two. Mm, then we are short by one uh, story point, right? Uh, with this, we can't uh, take it out water production plant. Then we mm -hmm. have to go back again and think for something else, right? No, we need no, no. to we want to finish it, so we have to carry it over to the next sprint. Yeah. 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 And we need to roll the dice again for okay. one more time. Let me do that. Okay, so we so have five. five. Right. So five says no change in velocity to oh, new yeah. yeah. defects. New defects. So if you, you go up to that, there we are, that. Um, Enter five in the. 24, that, 20. that red, you put a five in there. Yeah. And that'll tell you what's happening with your. Mm. Yeah. So yeah. You've got, you're carrying seven defects forward. Ooh. Yeah. But we have picked it up uh, this thing, uh, Shane, uh, water production plant, right? Which will mm. help us in over here. Need water for spring. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now we are going. Uh, okay. No, we have only 14 story points, but we don't have so much of like uh, the items we have picked has to be mm -hmm. changed now uh, uh, because uh, it's eight and five. So we have to. 
remove the second one and add something else mm. and i'm going to give you one minute left sure so <laughs> okay i think the next thing of the water was food okay. to that that's number 4 can we do one thing is 27 water for two iterations can yeah but we, we did water production yeah we've got no, we've got no, no that cannot be done actually it's five story points we are short of one story point so we have to yeah. replace it uh, with some other user stories okay and we want to carry it forward into the next sprint and complete it uh yeah, do we in the defects or uh, this user story we can uh, do both yeah because a mm. seven defects is only three velocity points yeah we can carry over the defects and then we can get this done um uh, because we we're ahead of the game you know we we're, we're still yeah. yeah we're still a sprint ahead of dying so we're we're good so we just have one minute guys please Yeah. So just what should we pick it up, right? Uh, can we pick it up the water recycling plant? Yeah. Is can we do that? But we don't have water. Then how we will recycle it? Ah, that's a good question. Good point. Ah, uh, then we can just take water for two iterations, one story point. Okay. Uh, just for survival for another two, and then we can pick up another user story. Mm, or we can finish the defects i um, think we finish the defects because that mm -hmm. could give us <laughs> yeah yeah because the 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 defects are getting bigger each exactly. each so, so let's season. say check if for seven defects how much story points do we need okay. can we just go three. down and see it's three okay I've three got yeah three shot here So three, wow. one, four, and plus eight. We have twelve, and we are still uh, having two more story points. That's fine, I guess. Mm. How yeah, much is accommodation? Ah, uh, oh, oh, yes. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> Guys, come on. By default, we're good. We're good. Uh, Shane just pulled us back, right? <laughs> yeah, Shane just dragged. you back kicking and screaming <laughs> <laughs> but we saved it and we worked for future two sprints as well chen mhm mm mhm mm and what's your defect residual yeah. defect levels like so uh, we left with the uh, 7 which has been pushed uh, right we covered it up till sprint 2 but for sprint 3 and sprint 4 we have seven bugs or defects left but at least we should have worked for uh, the things for the air and the water which is for the 3 and 4 right in advance ah. mm. <laughs> we played a little smart here <laughs> and, we, and we prioritized the defects for that um sprint that we, we were just completing yeah. as well okay so the next sprint you were going to spend time fixing defects exactly yeah is the longer you leave the defects the more they build up and the more drag you get because of them oh so right what, so yeah so the rolling of the dice plays a very crucial role right uh, uh -huh. if you get 10 12 you will save your life but if you get under 2 3 4 you, it really uh, put you in trouble right yeah yeah and yeah that that's okay shane just to remind you once that the session is going to be over in next 7 minutes the time is going to be over in 7 minutes thank you very much yeah so folks we have 7 minutes left debrief how 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 real did this feel and can you see using this or something like it with teams to help them understand the elements of defects velocity planning priorities and so forth what do you feel yes this is awesome game will help us with the planning i mean you get an experiential learning mm -hmm. hmm? so i'm already very close to marks right you can see me behind right uh, but this is to be frank right a very great game right where we can actually learn and improve a lot right 
I joined late a little bit because I was into another game. Can you please uh, explain in short what is about game? I will see the recording later. But mm-hmm. all right, would somebody like to to give Manas a, a quick overview? Nobody's volunteering, so I'll do it quickly, Manas. The um, idea is that you're simulating a um, surviving on the sur- uh, crash landing on the surface of Mars. And to do that, you're going to use an iterative scrum type process. You've got a, a number of things that need to be done. You've got velocity and story points and so forth. And it's, it's a, helping teams to understand the impact of things like technical debt and not fixing defects and what happens when you um, overstretch and, and uh, underestimate, overestimate. Um, and it's, I, I think there's a, my, my feeling is there's quite a lot of fun in the, um, the perception of it being you're, you know, you're, you're playing a game, but you're thinking about surviving in this um, environment in Mars. And there are a number of things that if you don't do them, you will die. <laughs> okay, got it. Yeah. Nice. So it's a case study that you are sharing. And on that basis, they are coming with the stories. Okay. Uh, no, it's a, it's a simulation game. Okay. And there's a there's a spreadsheet that the, where you run the simulation in um, and there's a backlog. There's multiple versions that, and things you can, it can be quite simple or a little bit more complex. Okay. Thank you. And the last time we, the last time I played it with a group in person, we were at a conference and we actually ran, um, we, we had a wall with the boards and, and we ran a competition over the, the, three, four days of the compl- of the conference to see different groups would come together and they would play, play a couple of rounds. And then uh, at the end, we looked for the, the group that had achieved the most that had actually survived. About 30% of groups died somewhere along the way because they lost sight of things like the needing air, needing water. Uh, you know, so you've got great velocity, but you, you've run out of water. Oh, dear. We just died. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, but the only problem I found, the only difficulty I found is we have to uh, copy the content of the user stories. Yeah. Yeah. From uh, from there, from Jamboard to uh, mm-hmm. the Excel sheet. That's the only difficulty. Otherwise, it's good. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I think um, I did put the user stories on the sh- second sheet there as well. Uh, so it was a little bit quicker and easier to copy. But even so, um, I think it's taking more time to use one of the, maybe one of the, the drag and drop tools, you you probably could do something quite quite nifty with that. Correct. Yeah. You but, um, those uh, also afterwards? Yep. Yeah, okay. Yep. Yeah, all the, all the links are, are there and freely available. And along with all of the the descriptions and the uh, that folder has got um, yeah the story cards. It's got the different versions of the short of the scoring sheet for in person. Um, it's got that little PowerPoint that uh, it's got the explanation in. So it is uh, Creative Commons freely available to be uh, to use. Um, as I as I mentioned at the beginning, uh, James King and Philippe Christian came up with it, um, and I just did the. I've used it a, a number of times, and I did the um, this little switch to make it work online. And this is actually the first time I've used the online version. So thank you for being the experimental group. Hmm. Yeah, that's good. All right. Any any final questions or thoughts? I think 
it's a lovely game and what is more exciting each room has a different experience and a different take away uh, thank you shane thank you so much for a for a brilliant game brilliant session we really enjoyed wonderful it was it was truly my pleasure thank you folks and thank you for inviting me along you know I, that's what i was thinking if it were in person we have had a big wall and not just mm -hmm. during the session but even afterwards people would have been invited because you know uh, we keep a parallel space and in between mm -hmm. us we have one and a half hour two hour of time box where in we do a life size you know mm -hmm. scripting and people go to different rooms uh there was a big room for visuals so people will go and you know come out there was a big room for game there was a business agility lab so people would mm -hmm. run around so they could have also gone you know to this wall and put their ideas further shape them further mm -hmm. yeah that's a lot yeah and just a question here right uh, if your organization right uh, will be having a plan of a road map or something stories like this right for mm -hmm. for next quarter right which we want to play it and i think this is a good strategy where you can actually uh, use this game and um, uh, take the best drive out of it right i believe so mm -hmm. right yeah yeah absolutely and and the dice element does put a bit, uh, an, an element of randomness in there and and that's reality mm -hmm. so yeah you could take this structure and actually put a real backlog in it and see okay what happens what's going to happen if we achieve this or that and what uh, and how things going to run you could even then um use something like monte carlo estimation right and and run multiple scenarios and and come up with the uh, the probability curve so yeah thank you so very much uh, for sharing your best practice and knowledge with us and uh, it's uh, really helpful for each one of us right i believe so cool oh, thank you thank you so then guys we see you all tomorrow and it starts sharp at 7:30 and shane we wish shane we wish you a good uh, for the late morning i be hope you get to <laughs> <laughs> for some more time or maybe a afternoon nap and uh, that's it Do you think you can quickly share about agile coaching ethics as well to the group so that they can look forward to and they know you know what to do? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Very happily. Uh, Dipti is one of a of a group of volunteers who are working with me on uh, coming up with the a code of ethical conduct for agile coaching. We're doing it under the auspices of the Agile Alliance, and we actually have. um released a very first version available for people to download and comment on and give us feedback uh, i will share the link to that page and there's a pdf that you can download that is the current draft and it is a draft of the what what are the behaviors that we expect to see from ethical agile coaches one of the challenges that we have as a as a community is that there is no co common code of practice code of conduct for agile coaching and this is what the the group of volunteers uh got together to try and come up with there are 23 of us we represent a wide variety of organizations and backgrounds and cultures and coaching roles and experience and we're trying to come up with something that um looks at the ethical dilemmas so not the not the good practices but the ethical dilemmas that an agile coach might face and and this was there was a lot of good discussion about okay where what are our borders and boundaries and we defined uh and in that document that's uh, that's re that's referenced on that page so there's a release 1.0 for feedback um link on that page and in that pdf there is an email address where we're asking for feedback 
again, yeah. Thank you so much. And Deepti, thank you for inviting me and for also for letting me talk about that. It's a pleasure. And I'm extremely thankful to you. As I again say, 4 a.m. waking up, oh my God, fingers crossed. <laughs> and, you know, community, we let's look at the agile coaching ethics. We understand because we all are like, you know, saying, oh, he's also a coach. I don't even want to talk to him because, you know, everyone who has just done the CSM is a host, uh, a coach. So we let's understand and let's have ethical practices and, you know, have some respect for the true coaching practices. And probably from there, we will be able to find our path to be good coaches. All right. Then we'll see you all tomorrow. And Shane, once again, thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank okay. you very much, folks. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Good night. Bye. Bye. Take care. Good night. Bye. Bye-bye.